Learn English with a fra. Improve English speaking skills every day. Oh, you're here, Lisa. I was asking for you. I need to check your homework. Hello, teacher. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. No? Why not? I gave you a lot of time to do it. One week, to be exact. What happened? Yeah, well, I can't keep on. I will quit studying English. What? Why? You're about to pass to advanced level. What's happening? I know, but I realize I am not good with foreign languages. That's why I quit, teacher. You can't be serious. Who told you something like that? Tell me. I have been studying English for two years and I still can't speak like a native speaker. Plus, I talked to one of my friends. He's an advanced English student. He told me that. He told me there are some people who are not good with foreign languages. And I am one of them. I see. That friend of yours, he is not right. That's a myth. A myth? No, that's true. I wasn't born to speak foreign languages. Look, there are a lot of myths about learning English and that's only one of them. Really? Then, that's not true. I am not terrible at learning different languages? Of course not. Let me tell you something. The mind is a powerful thing. If your mind thinks you can't learn a foreign language, you'll have an extremely hard time changing that belief. So, do yourself a favor and change your perspective. Please, do it. It's simply not true that you'll never understand English just because it's not your native language. Even though we develop native language maps in our brains from a young age, our brains can still absorb new knowledge. Every day we collect new information. It's not different when learning a new language. Simply changing your mindset gives you the best chance to learn something new. And I will tell you something that can help you a lot with the process of learning English. Use your native language to boost your English learning. Find blogs, short stories and rewrite them in English. The other myth is, if you really can speak English, you will never make any mistake. I mean, even native English speakers make mistakes when they speak their own language. Every mistake you make helps you learn something new. This is very true when learning a new language. What I mean is, you need to see every mistake as an opportunity to learn. There is no reason to feel embarrassed if you say the wrong word, sentence or pronunciation. Everyone has been a beginner at some time in their lives. Now, if you still feel silly when you say the wrong word, then you can do this. Telling people that you are learning English can help take the pressure off. Believe me. So, when you're about to start a conversation, you can say, I'm sorry I'm learning this language. It worked for me. I felt much better and more confident after saying those words. It's also a great way to find 
new learning opportunities because others might want to help you. Another myth is, and this is very, very typical, I don't have time to study English. I can't believe people say that as an excuse to not learn English nowadays. Seriously. I mean, we get it, you're busy. Okay. The whole world seems to be busy. We have so much to do and are always out of time. I understand that. However, believing that you need a lot of time to learn English is false. You simply need to know how to organize your time. Another myth, I need to visit an English-speaking country. Come on. Let's be honest. That's only another excuse to not learn English. In the past, learning a new language was difficult, because it was harder to travel to other countries. But with the internet, we can now bring foreign languages into our homes, with the click of a button. Another typical myth is, I don't have money to study English, so I can't afford it. Money is a common excuse that many easily use to explain why they can't do something. You may think that you don't have enough money to buy textbooks, or that online course it's too expensive. Well, I've got some great news for you. You can learn English for free. Yeah. The best learning experiences are the most memorable, not the most expensive. Real world interactions are a fantastic way to learn English, because they are interesting, relevant and free. We also have a video about how to learn English without spending any money on this channel. Another myth learning English is boring. I don't like to learn English. I'll tell you something. If you could speak English fluently, you wouldn't say the same thing. The problem is not that learning English is boring. The real problem is probably you're learning it in the wrong way. Many people get bored because they don't like reading those old textbooks. Or they listen to boring audio or videos about boring topics like actors or actresses they don't like. I mean, when I was learning English, the book had boring topics, singers that I didn't like, movies that I had never watched and famous people that I didn't care about at all. Why would I pay attention to that boring class? That made learning English very boring. So, I recommend you to learn English with real life situations, about your own life. Movies that you like, your favorite singers and actors, books you love and series you like. Oh, look at the time. It's very late. I need to go to my other class, Lisa. Yes, don't worry teacher. But you'll tell me more myths about learning English, right? I could tell you more about it in another video. Only if you like this video. Take care. I hope you liked this conversation, if you could improve your English a little more. Please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend and if you want. To support this channel you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support take care.